Cool, it's time to hit the abs and the obliques and we're gonna do it with a mason twist, all right? So onto our exercise mat. You can use a dumbbell for this if you wanna make it more intense, but I'm gonna show a few different options for you. So first things first, we get down into a seated position onto the floor and the mason twist simply looks like this. Hands together, bam, bam, bam. We're crushing the floor with our fists like that as if we're Okay, just going from side to side. Now you'll see my feet are off the ground. They don't have to be. If you wanna play it safe, put your feet on the floor, tilt back, but we're trying to not be completely seated up, sitting, seated, sitting. We're trying to lean back so that the abs are engaged to hold us in position, and then the obliques cause the rotation. So we're going bam, bam, or with the feet up, bam, bam, like that. Now, if you wanna make it more challenging, hold on to a dumbbell and do it like that but try not to hit the floor too much, otherwise the neighbors beneath you might complain. Uh, so I prefer to do this timed rather than counting reps, but you can do it timed if you, uh, counting if you like. I don't know, I'm gonna get my cameraman to do a 30 second count for me, roughly speaking. Uh, so I'm gonna do it without the dumbbells, first of all. When my cameraman's ready, we'll go three, two, one, and let's go, one, two. I count them like that if I'm counting reps, but as I said, we're not counting on this go. So lots of rotation. It's not just about moving your arms, it's about actually twisting your body so that your core muscles are engaged and there's lots of rotation going on. And it should burn the abs a bit, right? Keep it going, 30 seconds is long. You don't have to do the full 30, just do what you can. Take a break if you need to, and relax there, okay? I made it look easy, right? It's not that easy, it's quite a challenging exercise. So if you, if you don't look like I look, don't stress. If you've got to put your feet down, absolutely fine. Uh, you'll get better, is the bottom line. The more you try this sort of thing, the more you will improve. Uh, so what we're gonna do, we'll move on to round two. Into position, hands together, three, two, one, and off we go. I don't know if you, if you get this, but when I'm doing it, if I don't talk or do anything, the movement forces air in and out of my mouth, and it sounds, I don't even know if you can hear that, but it sounds weird. Anyway, good. How long we got, cameraman? Nearly there. And relax. I should have mentioned, you might get a bit of a burn in the thighs on this as well, because holding the thighs up in that position contracts your rectus femoris, the muscle, one of the muscles of the quad. It's a bit of a burn, but uh, I think you can handle it. If it is burning too much, that's when you put your feet on the floor. So take a little bit longer to chill. I'm just gonna relax into this position, and then we'll hit up the third round. Uh, and if you're finding this easy, and some of you might do, you can go for longer than me. I've got no problem with that. Right, three, two, one, let's go. Oh, it does that make weird noises out of, my, out of my throat? Great. I haven't actually done many ab exercises for a gazillion years, so filming this is quite tough for me. How are we doing, cameraman? Five seconds or so to go. Three, two, one. Good, anyway, there we go. Mason twist complete. 